In this video, we will be discussing about the concept of operator precedence. Now, what do you mean by precedence and what is the need of it? So we try to understand this particular case with one example that whenever we have more than one task to do, then which task is to be completed first or which task we need to take first? That is to be decided by the concept of precedence. So we have seen many operators like you can see here, like uh, for example, we have seen the concept of increment decrement. So this is postfix, this is prefix. Like we have seen relational operator like comparison, not equals to, greater than, less than. So these are the different operators. We have also discussed about the logical operators. We have also seen beatwise operators. We have also uh, gone through different other operators. So if in some example, like I'm, I'm writing here, C equals to A plus B minus C divided by C. So if you look at this particular example, in this example, how many operators are there? So plus is one operator, subtraction is another operator, then division is third operator. So in a end assignment operator. So in this example or in a single statement, there are four different operations. Now the question is which operation is to be completed first. So that particular idea or that particular problem can be solved with the case of precedence. Precedence means the priority. So here you can see the list of different operators available like postfix, unary, then multiplicative, additive, shift, relational. These are different operators. And the priority is moving from upper to lower means this is high priority and moving down this is low priority. It means we can say that the postfix operator is having the highest priority and the operator is having the list priority. So if we took look at this example in this we can see we have a plus b minus c divided by c okay so here one is addition one is subtraction and one is multiplication sorry division now if you look at this table then the priority of plus minus and division so priority of this division is higher than the priority of addition and subtraction because this comes first in the table so we have seen higher to lower so this is the highest priority and moving down we are coming or the priority is going to be decreased. So from this we can see that multiplication, division and modulo all three are having same priority and addition and subtraction is having the less priority than this. Then which operation is to be performed first? So this particular operation to be performed first. Why? Because from these three operator division is having the higher priority. So for that or to, to execute this examples, what we need to remember, we need to remember the priority sequence. We need to remember the operator precedence. Okay. So we take some of the examples that it will be easy for you to understand. Let's take an example. So here we have one example with us. This is the example 10 plus 4 divided by 2 minus 5 into 3. So how many operators are there? One is plus division minus and multiplication. All are arithmetic operators. But we know that in this arithmetic operator division and multiplication is having a higher priority than addition and subtraction. If we go back if we go back and you see that this division and multiplication is having the priority then this addition and subtraction. So which operation to be performed first? So we need to perform since division and multiplication is having the same priority what to do? So if it is the same priority then we need to move from left to right okay we need to move from left to right it means that 
we need to move from left to right direction whichever the operator comes first is to be executed first if it is the case of same priority so here 4 divided by 2 is division and 5 into 3 is multiplication both are having same priority so left to right this 4 divided by 2 comes first we will execute that first so here we will write 10 plus 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 minus 5 into 3 now from plus minus and multiplication which is having highest priority multiplication is having the highest priority so now we'll do 10 plus 2 as it is minus 5 3 is a 15 now plus and minus now plus and minus is having the same priority so that from left to right whichever come first should be executed first so now 10 plus 2 is to be executed first so it is 12 minus 15 so answer is minus 3 so you can see here that i have minus 3 answer so i hope you understood we need to first identify that which operator is having the highest priority that's that is to be executed first but if two operators are having the same priority then based on the sequence that left to right or right to left so based on the sequence if it is left to right then we need to move from left to right whichever the operator comes first that is to be executed first for example here division and multiplication having the same priority so from left to right division comes first we have executed that particular part first now uh, suppose in place of that we have this case 10 plus 4 into 2 minus 5 divided by 3 if this is the case then what we will do so again multiplication is division is having the same priority but left to right multiplication comes first so we will do this so 10 plus 8 minus 5 divided by 3 and now 5 divided by 3 is 1 so 10 plus 8 minus 1 so answer is 17 now you might have wondered that why this 5 divided by 3 is minus 1 it should be 1.66 but no why not since because 5 is integer and 3 is integer both are integer so answer should be an integer so actually is value is 1.66 but the integral part or the complete number out of it is only 1 so answer is 1 okay so that's why we have considered 1 over here okay that we will see later on during the concept of type casting we will see why this happened and what can be there to preserve the data which is being lost because of this case okay but that's a separate story but here we are focusing on the operator precedence now we take some of the more examples now if you look at this example here there are two operators one is shift operator and one is addition now if you look at the table we have bitwise shift and addition now if you look at the table so bitwise shift is here and addition is here so addition is the higher priority than the shift operator so which is to be performed first so in this example this addition is to be performed first so what will happen so it will like 10 left shift 2 plus 2 addition is having higher priority so 10 left shift this will perform plus so 2 plus 2 is 4 so 10 left shift 4 and you know that 10 left shift 4 gives you what that gives you 160 how so we know that left shift by 4 or the left shift is multiplication multiplication by 2 so 10 multiplied by 2 gives you 20 20 multiplied by 2 gives you 40 multiplied by 2 gives you 80 and the fourth time you multiply by 2 is 160 so this way also you can check out the answer is 160 now in this case this is right shift this is left shift now if you look at the table precedence table you can see that that left shift and right shift both are having the same priority but it is from left to right it is from left to right so in this case if both are having same priority so in this case left to right which comes first so this comes first 3 
right shift 1 and then left shift 2. So we need to perform this operation 1 first because it comes first. So here this gives me what? The binary of 3 is 1 1 and we are right shifting it by so we will remove one digit. So now it is 1 and the binary 1 and decimal in decimal also it is 1. Now we need to perform this operation 1 left shift 2. So 1 left shift 2 gives you 4. Okay. Now here this is prefix this is postfix but if you look at the priority table precedence table you can see that postfix operation this is postfix. So postfix operations are having higher priority than the prefix operations. So here sorry so here we will perform this operation first. So the value of b is 6 now it becomes 7 ok so here we will consider it as 6 in memory it will be 7 and then here the value will be incremented by 1 so now 8 and in use also we will take 8 so 8 multiplied by 7 so 8 multiplied by 7 gives you 56 so answer is 56. So since this postfix is, is having higher precedence then prefix this is to be performed first. Okay. Now in this particular case one is comparison equality operator and second is relational. So here relational operator is having higher precedence than equality. We, from table we can see that. So relational operator is having higher precedence so this is to be executed first so 10 less than 7 so tell me what is the answer 10 less than 7 this condition is true yes this condition is true isn't it no it's not true 10 less than 7 condition is false so it returns 0 so 10 comparison 0 and this whole thing returns 0. Why? Because 10 is not 0. Correct? So when we compare 10 and 0, it returns false or we can say 0. So here also, since relational operator is having higher priority, this operation performed first and then the answer of this operation will be performed the operation with the first operand. Now in this case, this is logical OR and this is logical AND. Now if you look at the table, you can get to know the precedence of each operator is higher. So logical AND is having higher precedence than logical OR. Okay. So logical AND is having higher precedence than logical OR. So what will happen? So in this case, logical AND will be performed first. So 10 AND and 0. So this is non-zero and this is 0. If we multiply it or we perform logical AND operation gives us 0. So 1 OR 10 and and 0. So this gives me 0. So now 1 or or 0. Now 1 or or 0 gives me 1. So answer is 1. Okay. So you can see answer is 1. So very simple. No need to be panic. Just you need to check out or just you need to focus on concept of operator, operator precedence. You need to just remember this table. And based on this table, whenever you are having more than one operator exist in a single statement, you need to check out that which operator should execute first. That operator should be executed. Now, if both the operators are having the same priority. So, based on this associativity, based on this associativity, whether it is from left to right or right to left. So, based on this associativity, we need to execute that if plus and minus both are there in the statement then from left to right whichever the operator comes first that is to be executed first. So I hope you understand this case. Thank you for watching the video.